Hey guys, I just want to thank all of you for all your support while I went through the surgery and I am doing so much better. I have gone back to do readings, but I am doing them uh, gradually. I mean, I'm not overloading myself. I'm trying to take care of me. Uh, I plan on doing the February monthly, uh, which will follow this uh, short video. Um, and I'm kind of skipping around with all my different cards because my spirit guides want me to give the regular tarot deck a break right now. Uh, I do occasionally use them in my readings, but for my videos, they want me to have a little bit of fun with like tarot oracle or just oracle. And eventually I will be bringing back the tarot in it. But either way, no matter what the deck is, it's the messages that come from the cards and from spirit that count. So I look forward to uh, connecting. And again, thank you so much for all your support. Blessings. Hey, Leo, how's it going? February 2019, General Love Oracle Tarot Reading. And I'm reading Archangel Power Tarot Cards. I just feel like February is the month to empower by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And it's one of my favorite decks. It speaks a lot of truth. I'm very much into power and empowerment. And I love these cards. I love the photos on them. So let's see what's happening for you guys. Leo. Knight of Ariel. Let's see what's crossing you. All right. Wow. Got a lot of pink going on here. And Ariel, too. So here, the Knight of Ariel is about, I guess, the, the month of February, Leo. I'm going to start out first about talking about projects and talking about work, promotion, career. What I'm feeling with this card, before I get into anything in regards to anything else, is that this is about uh, some either... Uh, promotion or change of jobs or this could be even a project that you're working on this is important though okay because it's it's right now in your energy field for february so i really feel like this card just looking at this photo is you're on this course and you're you're about to take off um and but i feel like like you're being watched Okay, so maybe you're being watched at work. Maybe you're being watched on details in regards to what, what it is you're doing. Also, too, what's coming in here, too. I feel like somebody may be watching you in regards to love. Hopefully, it's not a stalker, but some of you might be a victim to that. But I'm also feeling like somebody is really likes you or you really like someone in your eyes. Your eyes are on them, or their eyes are on you, or your eyes are on each other. <laughs> but this is what I'm getting here. Um, and it's I just feel like, you know what, there's some things I feel that are bothering you here, and I'm getting, like, love. I feel like some of you are in a position where you're not feeling secure 100% in where you work or what you're doing. Um we're going to see what, what what other cards, but when I pull nines, nines to me are endings, but they are allowing room now for the new beginnings, for the new direction, to the new change. Okay, so nine of Ariel, and I love unicorns. This is you taking off on something. Okay, I think that, you know what, I feel like some of you Leos are going to be like, okay, you know what, if this isn't working, I put all this energy into this. If this is not working now... I'm just going to stop the obsession and I'm just going to get myself together and move on. And what you're moving on to, you've got that rainbow guiding you. You know, you've got the universe there supporting you. You know, and I feel like you'll just be, once you open that, close that one door and open the other door, just let it open up naturally. Just say, I'm closing this door that has only brought me challenges, has only brought me misery or you know unhappiness whatever and and as i close this door shut forever i am opening up this new door and this new door has nothing but beautiful inspiring authentic and abundant opportunities okay uh, for some reason i got really involved in that <laughs> it just kind of flew right through me so i think some of you leos might actually need that um but this is this is just about 
you know, just ch I just feel like you need to change directions, Leo. For some of you, need to change directions. Connect to your happiness. Happiness begins within, okay? So whoever that lover is that just, you know, doesn't pull in your heartstrings in a good vibration, in a good way, bye-bye. Honestly, it's time for the change. What's below you is the Seven of Gabrielle. Okay, I, I think I pulled this in Virgo. And, and some of you, Leos, might have a Virgo moon arising. This is That would be a double meaning here for you. But here, Leo, this is about standing up for what you believe in. Okay, this is, you know, you're on Pegasus here. You're flying high. You got the, you got the different colors of the universe. You've got the divine supporting you, backing you up, living within you. It's just about claiming your personal power. And claiming your personal power, you know, it's like this is a general love. So I'm going to say, people that you work around, don't let them take your power. Okay? Your boss, same thing. Be cooperative, but you don't have to hand over your power. I know sometimes we get twisted about it because we don't want to lose the job at the time. We need the money. And some of us are, are single. And so, therefore, we don't feel as secure. We don't have too many people to turn to. So, and, and the same thing when it comes to uh, relationships. Like, for some of you, I'm getting, you know, you've tried, you've tried, you've tried. I feel like, you know, some of you might actually even be manipulated or you're manipulating others. So, that is something that needs to change also. And what doesn't work, what doesn't vibe, which doesn't happen anymore, then, hey, why waste your time anymore? This is 2019 and it's still in the new part of the year. Okay, what's behind you is the seven of Raphael. And, uh, you know, Raphael is very healing. And some of you may have made a decision and you're looking to be in that paradise. You're looking to be in that space for healing. I love that picture. And that picture is so beautiful to step into as far as the healing. Some of you feel like, oh my God, where am I going? I'm stepping into the unknown. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, and some of you are just trying really, really hard um, to be clear, uh, to try to make up with someone from the past, I feel. Some of you might be trying to connect to someone in the past, and you're taking a lot of uh, action towards this, but maybe you're not getting the same response back. Um, but also, this is about detoxing, okay? So if you haven't detoxed yet, this is moving behind you. Go on and catch up. Start detoxing. Clearing out your home, start staging, start salting, start taking spiritual baths, start, or showers, um, start clearing out your chakras, you know, start uh, meditating, chanting, praying, whatever. That's what I'm feeling. You know, you want energy to move, this is the truth. And then you've got to participate in moving the energy, whichever way it is, prayers or, you know, cleansing out. The King of Gabriel, which is above you. See, I'm feeling here that something's going to change in regards to love. Like the one, you guys who are disappointed over it, February is going to bring a different ringtone to, um, you know what, to your love life, I feel. And just looking at the king of Gabrielle, Gabrielle's communication, the angel of communication. And uh, there's a lot of power in this card. Um, it's also a card about um, where, to me, it, it feels like, okay, where is everything going? Where is this leading to? Okay, let's let's take a look at your, your future card here, which is the Ace of Ariel. Ooh, great card. So where is this going? Well, first of all, make sure your beliefs stay in tune and strong. Don't make everything so out of sync to where it can't manifest, it can't become, or you can't become that vibration. Because you got to become the vibration if you want to see the law of attraction manifest this, or if you want to manifest it. That's it. And Ace of Ariel, this is about uh, new, um, new connections, I'm feeling. New... Uh, like luck in regards to money, in regards to support. Um, it also is about change, like some of you changing. 
uh, careers or jobs or getting a promotion. Uh, this is about relationships elevating. Okay? Um, so that's fantastic card here. And the theme here is the Page of Raphael. So you got a couple Raphael cards here. And here you are on your little magic carpet. And uh, the, the, what I feel here, just to kind of do a review on on love here, is I feel like and it doesn't it doesn't have to necessarily be just love relationships. Like everybody's got different things going on in their lives. And when I do a general love, I like to touch bases on everything if I can in this short period of time. But what I'm feeling is that something happened um, in regards to uh, something that you're feeling emotional about, something that you feel. You need to um, gather, I'm getting gather, gather, maybe gather your forces, gather information before you actually accuse someone. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Um, but also, too, I feel like that some of you have just been alone and, and, and you know, I, I just feel like it's going to change because you've got cards that support that change. Let's go ahead and look at the love cards. Leo, February Unrequited love. So perhaps some of you have been experiencing or experienced somebody that was in your life that there just wasn't enough chemistry to keep the relationship going. And yet you feel like you're looking for answers, that there's more to it. But sometimes I just feel like you just need to leave it the way it is because it was meant to be that way. Here we've got trust issues too. So what could be throwing that relationship off balance is the fact that if one of you has trust issues. And when trust issues get involved, then that throws the the relationship into an unrequited love because there's too much um, uh, there's too much uh, toxic energy. Then there's too much um, insecurity, etc. And so that doesn't make a relationship hold chemistry. You know, it's just like um, you know, it's just like when you're driving a car and you burn gas. And maybe you're driving around in circles or you're driving here and there and you wanted wasting gas when you could have done it a different direction and you could have gained. Okay, so here's about loving yourself first. Okay, so some of you I feel like maybe you've, you've had it. Okay, like you feel you've been taken advantage of or you were used and... And, and so you feel low on yourself because maybe you think something's wrong with you because these relationships keep happening like this. Um, I, I just feel like you need to just kind of let it rest, let it be, let it, let things happen on their own rather than trying to force it. But I do feel like, you know, um, take empowerment. And don't worry about where he or she is. Take empowerment and then let them let them ring your doorbell instead of you always chasing them. Okay? If I didn't wish you a happy Valentine's, I am now. <laughs> happy Valentine's, Leo. Have a great February. Blessings.